Greetings, my friends. Remember I gave you some news yesterday that I told you was the biggest news that I've seen ever, uh, showing how we're in the last of the last days, the very end times, on the, the, on the threshold of the rapture, and sadly the tribulation and great tribulation for those who left behind, which is most of the world. And I've got news today that's even bigger than that news. As you can see by the title, the Antichrist is about to appear. A call for global new world order is coming tomorrow. This, this is just, I saw this today, and why is this not all over the news? Why is this not being broadcast everywhere all over the news? Because the devil does not want the world to be in a tizzy. He doesn't want the world to be in an uproar, if you will. He doesn't want the world to be frightened. He wants this to be seen as part of just a extension of what's happening in this confused, mixed up, evil, wicked, hellhole, cesspool of a world we live in today. It's amazing stuff, my friends. It's incredibly amazing stuff. And just to, just to remind you, <clears throat> if you don't know how things work, the Antichrist, the world won't know the Antichrist until after the imminent rapture. But the Bible says in Revelation, if you have wisdom and discernment, wisdom and knowledge, and, and you see him, you can know him any time. But he will not take over the world. He will not come out and rule the world. He will not come out and be the world's savior until after the imminent rapture. So the fact that a new world order is being of tomorrow is being told by a, by a world leader that you have to follow me in this world order shows you the Antichrist is very, very near and it's major, major stuff. In the, it, it, it's incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. So let's go ahead and go through exactly what's going on, shall we? Tomorrow, Biden is jetting to Brussels, and as new world orders, new world order comments reverberate. You know, the world, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but over the past few weeks of the Ukraine war, <coughs> you've seen the world calling on the U.S., begging the U.S. to be in charge of the world, asking the U.S. to be, to lead the world. So they've been putting this in the world's, in the U.S.'s hands already, wanting the U.S. to step out. And Biden said, He's going to tell the entire world tomorrow that there will be a new world order that must be led by the U.S. He said, I'm going to say it to all their faces. They must get in line and follow as the U.S. leads the new world order. So you have to ask yourself this question. Can Biden lead a new world order? You've seen what he's been doing as president. You've seen how things have been. Does he have, is he capable of leading a new world order? I've talked about this many times, endless times. I told you that when Barack Obama had to leave the White House after a second term, he said he was interviewed on, on, a, on, a, on a national, international um, TV show. He said that he could have just continued to be president uh, perpetually if it wasn't for the, the law of, of the rule of two, of two terms. <clears throat> but he said his ideal, his ideal scenario, short of being president forever, would be to have someone, he could sit in his basement, put a, a microphone in his ear, he would tell the person what to do, tell the person what to say like they were a marionette, like they were a puppet, and they would be the figurehead, but Obama would be behind the scenes, and he smiled and said, I would love that. And I believe he's been doing that since January of last year. I, he, he got out, and instead of going back home like 99.9% .9 of presidents do, he bought a mansion a mile from the White House, has all his old staff there, and Saki and Biden openly admit, they've admitted personally, they've admitted on video that that Biden and Obama are constantly discussing world policy, that Obama constantly has Biden's ear. And Obama, <clears throat> as I've told you many times, this is, this is perfect. He already lives in the U.S., so he can run the world from the U.S., the New World Order. He has been voted every single year since he first came in office, even through now, the most beloved, trusted, and admired human being on the face of the earth. It's, that's unheard of. He continues to be, even after all this time. I've told you before, they've taken global polls. If, the, if things started getting crazy, and you needed one person to run your country and run the world, who'd you pick? To, to a person, the, the, the vast majority in every country say, Barack Hussein Obama. That, that's just the way that it is. It's not just saying it's the way that it is. And remember, Saki, just said last month she's being interviewed 
and I, I think it was The View, one of those shows. They said, we heard you're leaving, we're sad. Is that true? She said, it's been the, the biggest honor of my life working for Obama, uh, I mean Biden. She was spitting out Obama, <laughs> then changed it to Biden midstream. As you know, I'm a psych minor in college, most of you know that. And that was a Freudian slip. And it, she said what was in her brain, and she tried to pull it back, but it was too late. And it's amazing, amazing, amazing stuff, my friends, what's going on. It's incredible what's going on. I mean, my, my, my mind is just racing. I've just been having chills going down my spine. And, and, just, and, and just, man, Jesus, you're showing everybody that, that, that you're getting ready to snatch your bride away. And the Antichrist is getting ready to take over this world when the tribulation starts and just rip this place to pieces. And it's happening, my friends, much sooner than anybody could possibly think. And I told you yesterday in a video, or two days ago, in a video, whatever whatever day it was, two days ago, I think, that how <coughs> experts believe that 2030 is going to be the end of mankind as we know it. And I believe them because I believe the rapture has a very, 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 especially with this news today. This is huge. And I've told you many times that I've got three scenarios in case you try to say, well, I thought you said the U.S. would be destroyed. This, this is what I've said all along, and I'm on record of saying it, so you can verify it. The first scenario is this. The U.S. could be wiped off the map by God's own hand at the rapture if he decided to. Because the U.S. is indeed the great whore of Babylon. She matches every single scripture to a T. No one else matches more than one or two. She matches all 21. And so God could wipe her off the map at the rapture. I've told you that all along for the last 15 years. Number two, I've said we could have a civil war or the U.S. could just fall into a, into a, a financial ruin into a third world country because of the way we're being run right now. Either, either of those two scenarios from the way we're being run right now is number two. And I've said all along is number three, that the Antichrist lives right here in this country. I'm convinced of it. And he could run the world from the U.S. or the U.N. or wherever. This is all the same stuff. Until mid-tribulation, maybe God's going to destroy the great horror right before mid-tribulation somewhere in, in that time. The Antichrist can just jet out of here because Satan, he's Satan incarnate. Satan's going to get him out of Dodge before the U.S. gets destroyed. He'll go right to Jerusalem, desecrate the third temple, set himself up as God, and then, and then spend the last three and a half years of his life just hounding the Jews and the Christians who refuse the mark of the beast and trying to slaughter them. And that would be a perfect scenario as well. Either way, I'm convinced he's right here, a mile from the White House. It would be so simple for the world to fall in line with the New World Order, because they've been begging the U.S. to, to lead, fall in line with the New World Order, and if that's and, and if that's the way God wants it, it's going to happen that way. And then the Antichrist just steps up, and again, as soon as the rapture happens, he'll get he'll he'll cement everything by explaining away the rapture, and maybe even saying he'll be saying the aliens took them. They took your children and little ones. We're sad about that, but they're in a safe place, a better place, on a planet far away where they'll be protected. They, they're not safe here. He'd he'd say. And they took away all those pesky Christians, like Paul Kidd and the rest of his ilk. We're glad about that. But they won't do it again. He may even say that he that he himself could be of part of an alien race of some type. Who knows what might be said. All I'm saying is he matches every single scripture of the future Antichrist, all 21 to a T, just like the U.S. matches all 21 to a T of the great whore Babylon. No one else is even remotely close, matches more than one or two or three at the most. Obama matches all 21. So you can believe whatever you want to believe. You can think whatever you want to think. I go by the Bible, and I don't say anything I can't match in the Bible. Now, I can't say with 100% certainty that he is because some other man might come along in what little time we have left that matches all 21 scripture and matches all the thousands of, of, of cyber issues that I've found. It's possible, but I think the possibility of that is about the same possibility of me jumping out of this chair to the moon right now on my own with my own two feet. We're living in the last days, my friends. We're living in the last, not the last days, excuse me, scratch that. The last moments of the last minutes and seconds of the last days in God's prophetic time clock. We need to be out there witnessing and praying for the lost night and day. We need to be out there keeping our garments spotless by repenting. The Bible commands us to do that. It's not a one-time thing at salvation. We need to be making sure that we keep that we uh, keep our lamps filled with oil, our bodies filled with the Holy Spirit, and be strong for Jesus Christ. Take as many to heaven with us as we possibly can. Because our time to do so is running out very quickly. Jesus Christ, my friends, is our only hope. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you with all my heart. And look up true Christians. Our redemption draweth now. We fly soon. May God bless you. 
Help me share this video. Help me get the word out. And please, above all, stay ready. We fly soon. I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet you. May God bless you. Share. Bye.